Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. We are making a traditional dessert from Ottoman times irmik helvası, semolina helva. The name helva is used for referring to a wide variety of confections with the most geographically common type based on fried semolina grain, which we call irmik. It is popular in Turkey as well as the Middle East, some parts of Asia and Eastern Europe. It's easily made on a stove top and can be done in 20 minutes. I will also show you how you can serve in different styles and with ice cream as well. So let's get started. I have one cup semolina, two tablespoons all-purpose flour, half cup mix of vegetable oil and butter uh, I have about one tablespoon butter in here and 80 milliliters of uh, vegetable oil one cup whole milk one plus two thirds of a cup water one cup sugar these are for the syrup and about half cup chopped walnuts I'm using a white pan it's okay to use non-stick or a regular stainless steel I added the oil and butter and after the butter melts adding the semolina this is a coarse one I think we have one type actually and in Europe I know that uh, they have different uh, sizes so I wanted to show you closer and adding the two heaped tablespoons uh, flour as well and going to fry everything for at least about 15 minutes on medium low you have to continuously stir in order to not burn it and meanwhile I'm gonna prepare the syrup adding the milk and the water and in the second time I made the same recipe uh, you will see later on in the video I updated the amounts of the syrup I'm gonna show you so stay tuned and please watch until the end and here I continue to fry saute I can say and you can see it's gonna get brown the important thing here is you have to be uh, patient and uh, fry it slowly if you do it on high heat it will burn because of the uh, high heat coming from the oils so it should be on medium low and you have to continuously stir for at least uh, 15 minutes in the end of the cooking time I added my chopped walnuts and traditionally we do use pine nuts for it but it's okay to experiment with other nuts you can also try with almonds as well I continue to stir with the nuts so I can get some of the flavor out and my syrup is not boiled I heat it up until the sugar is dissolved and now it's time to add the syrup but you have to be careful because of the steam you can cover it with a lid from side and slowly pour the syrup and wait for about 30 seconds until the high bubbling goes away a little bit and then stir it gently first it will look like a mess too syrupy but the semolina it soaks all the syrup in about uh, three four minutes after it soaks the syrup by the way the heat is still on a very low heat I added a uh, two tablespoons grape molasses you can use other molasses too this is just to give some more a deeper like amber color and more intense flavor to it 
The semolina helva or irmik helvası in Turkish uh, usually served warm or either at room temperature. You can simply spoon it to a bowl but you can also shape it while still warm and uh, I want to show you some ideas how you can do it. I'm skipping this uh, serving part faster because I'm gonna show you in more detail with the second time I made the recipe. So here it is. Again I use the same amount of a semolina, butter, oil, everything. At this time I'm using stainless steel pan. Here is the syrup goes gently being careful with the steam and the difference is actually after the semolina helva soaked all the syrup I added half cup more syrup for a extra creamy texture and this time I mixed the pekmez the grape molasses with the syrup the water actually it's just warm water since I'm mixing it with the pekmez, a grape molasses and with this amount including the pekmez, the grape molasses the texture and the consistency was even more perfect and uh, you will understand when you uh, try it here it's done so now I'm gonna show you two ways of uh, shaping one with two spoons using two spoons you just scrape the helva from one spoon to another this is a classic way of shaping it and as you can see it becomes a scoop like in oval shape you can also use ice cream scoop for it another way to do it but uh, my favorite one was the one filled with ice cream. You just simply cover a nice small a one serving size bowl with a stretch film. Add the semolina helva pressing from the center to sides and fill the center with vanilla ice cream about halfway because uh, we're gonna close it with the uh, more helva again let me uh, remind you the uh, helva should be uh, warm not too hot otherwise the ice cream would uh, melt right away but it should be warm and if you do it earlier than serving time you can reheat it the helva or the next day here it is I wanted to serve it with uh, generously with some pistachios and here we are warm helva filled with cold ice cream heavenly it's so delicious I, I hope you give it a try and like it I'm sure you would uh, and uh, please share your comments with me if you try and your photos as well Thanks for watching. I have many dessert recipes you can check. I will put the links in the description box below. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.